Well, and beside me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. David Aldridge joins us on the sideline. Now, we'll look at Memphis's starting group. Out in the wings for him, Smart and Bain. Jaron Jackson is out there with Santi Aldama. And it's Morant in at the point. And for Oklahoma City, the post pair for him will be Williams and Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander out there with Alex Caruso. And it's Dort in at the small forward. What could be better than a bout between two conference rivals? Cannot wait. Nothing, Kevin. These players and fans are very familiar with each other and desperately want bragging rights. And so off the tip, it's Oklahoma City. Gilgis Alexander with it. Outside, Williams. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And the fireworks begin. Should be an amazing show tonight. How good is it to see the first one go through the net? The Thunder shooting their first free throw of the game here. At the line for your Oklahoma City, Williams. In regard to the Thunder, they had to go through, Greg, a rebuilding process not too long ago. Yeah, it was a tough couple years, but they had a plan in place and did it the right way. They made some smart signings and created a very balanced John roster. Moran. Boy, Job ja Moran continues to impress with his balance and body control. He has a knack for hitting shots through contact. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. It's Dort on the wing. Wide open, couldn't capitalize. And Morant's got the ball here for Memphis. And Holmgren pulls it down. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. And Torch gets it to go. Well, you love to see that. Holmgren keeping his eyes up and his options open. Now Morant, and he drives in, outside for Smart. Holmgren against Jackson, shot clock at five. Here's Bain. Nice defense from Dort. Great defensive effort, just saved a basket. You know what, this is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Well, Dort makes the smart play there. He spots a wide-open shooter and just gets him the ball. Payne finds Morant. Good on the bucket. John and Morant. once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Now here's Williams. Five points in the game. And Oklahoma City again with the bucket. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Hits it from three-point range. Jr. There is the flexibility of Jaron at the offensive end. He can post, he can put it on the floor, or he can just catch and fire. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Smart deciding where to go with him. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City. Good work defensively by Smart. Grizzlies have gone 3 of 7 from the field since we've gotten underway. There's the lob to Jackson. That ties the game. Nice job. Those passes have to be right on the money around the painted area. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Over Smart. The shot's good from Gilgis Alexander. So tenacious on the offensive end. Shea is a problem from the mid-range. This is his first free throw of the game. 
And his percentage at the line the last season right at the 75% mark. And he makes the first. One of the most exciting players in the league, Ja Morant. He's so explosive, plays the game with a joy, and he's a fan favorite. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Thunder have gone five of eight from the field, shooting over 62%. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. For Memphis, they've gone 50% from the field to this point, four of eight. Bain against Corso. A jump hook, and Jackson finishes inside. Jackson's got seven. Jaron has size and the ability to finish with either hand. He can take defenders head on. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Greg, isn't it amazing the way Gilgis Alexander has polished off his game? The footwork, Kevin, is impeccable. Three-level score makes every shot imaginable. And what's scary, this guy still has another level to get to. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. Nearly automatic. Gilgis Alexander, no slouch from the line. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. A great gritty is a word that is often used to describe the Grizzlies team. And I think it applies to this unit as well. These guys are all tenacious and hungry. They play every game with a healthy ship on their shoulder. They love to compete. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. To the middle. Here's Williams. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Nine points in the game so far. Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against Wentz. And let's forget the height disadvantage. He brings the effort, and he brings the energy. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Good work defensively by Smart. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Fades back, and there's Jackson, Jackson on the assist by Morant. Jackson's got nine. Look at the vision from John Morant there. Knew exactly where to deliver it for an easy look. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off but it can result in missing everything. Now here's Smart, still scoreless. Here's Morant, lays it up and banks it in. What body control for Morant, able to take the hit and power through it all. Here's Williams, nine points in the game so far. Drives to the hoop, over Jackson. Williams shot is off. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for Memphis. And the pass to Jackson. The Thunder pull it in. Unusual for him. Just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. Holmgren can't hit. Memphis has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Great pass to set up the lay-in. 11 points in the game. He can beat you from the outside and the inside. Jaron Jackson's versatility and his skill set is a huge asset for this team. Timeout is called first of the game for the Thunder. Uh, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now, it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball.
Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Outside Williams. Shot clock at six. That shot off. Memphis leading by three. Outside Jackson. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the back. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. For me, they made a point to attack inside early in the game, and it's paid off for them. A lot of solid looks in the paint. And they're also hitting that mid-range shot at a high clip. A big key will be to continue that success. Right. That's good from Jackson. Under trailing by six. Now here's Williams. He's got nine. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Outside, smart. Defended by Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. On the wing, Wiggins. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Over Smart. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. And now just a two-point Grizzly lead. Pass to Laravia. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. A 78% foul shooter a season ago. Pretty steady when he's at the line. On the free throw, no good. Great for a franchise like Memphis. Is there a specific way they have to build? Through the draft. Uh, I mean, they aren't going to get the huge A-list free agents, so you have to hit on your picks. You also have to keep your guys happy. Sign them to smart extensions. Got that <laughs> one up quick. And now a six-point Grizzly lead. Just good, aggressive drive from him that time. Found a hole in the D and went straight to the rim. Back to Williams. To the left side wing. Here's Holmgren. And it's blocked. Here's LaRavia. And it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. And this is active defense. Gilgis Alexander hustling to alter that shot. Holmgren the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Williams scanning the floor. This one for three. It doesn't go for him. And the Grizzlies leading by six. Inside. Aravia passes to Jackson. Oh, and here comes Gilgis Alexander all alone. That shot goes in. He now has three field goals and six misses today. What's impressive about Shea when he's running full speed is still completely under control. And the Grizzlies call their first time out of the game. Hunting right, for Oklahoma City. Huttenstein, he's checked in for Holmgren. Kenrich Williams comes in for Williams. And Wallace subbed in for Gilgis Alexander. The Grizzlies also making a change. Morant, he's checked in for Smart. Passes it to Laravia. Just five to shoot over Williams. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Under trailing by four. Kicks to Wiggins. 
from outside the arc, and the three ball is good. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And so Morant will bring it up for Memphis. One twenty-seven left in the first quarter. He takes it in. Nice defense from Wallace. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at his finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Okay, two hands for safety. That's that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. And then Morant slams it in. Stop it, Ja. He's putting on a show. Wallace outside. To the right side. Cuts off the pass. Knocks it loose and taken away by Wallace. And pushing it up here. Here is Oklahoma City. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, both teams still kind of feeling their way through this game. 29 seconds left to play here in the first. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds. The Grizzlies able to retain possession here. Here's Morant. Rebound by Williams. Ooh, the defense gets away with a late rotation. That's a shot he normally makes. Wiggins passes to Joe. Off with the layup. One second left. A shot, no good. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Thunder lead by one. And for 2K Sports, we'll be back here at Paycom Center right after this. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And for the Thunder guys, what stands out to you so far? Throughout that first, they just were aggressive on the defensive end, showing active hands. And they took advantage of some careless ball handling, some careless passing. You have to be more careful around these guys. Memphis trailing here. So on the four for Memphis. We've got Desmond Bain. Luke Kennard up there with Marcus Smart. Then it's Brandon Clark. And it's Aldama with the four spot. Oh, that's blocked. Timed it just right. Alex Caruso said no, no, no. Oklahoma City shooting at 48% from the four. Looking good. Outside, Dort. This is to Wallace. But three. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game. How it's been going for the Thunder. They are making a statement so far on the defensive end. Sending shots away in incredible fashion. Loving the hustle. They've out-hustled the opponent so far in this one. A lot of points in the open floor, and that's giving them the advantage. And his competitiveness showing through. That's an aggressive finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. Okay, time now for an injury report. And now an update on Shea Gilgis Alexander from David Aldridge. David, what'd you find out? Hi, Kevin. I chatted briefly with the head athletic trainer for the Thunder. He said it's a hyperextended shoulder and that they've got ice on it now to try to bring down the inflammation. David, thanks for the great update, guys. It doesn't sound good. No, if that report is accurate, he's going to be spending a lot of time in rehab and on the sidelines. I know he'll fight back hard to get back on the floor. He wants to be out here with his teammates. Great read from Dort there. An intelligent player who hustles on defense and distracts you. Outside Williams. Shoots over Aldama. It's deflected, and he recovers it. Another shot, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Second personal foul. First two fouls. The Thunder shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Williams. Two shots. Ah. 
That's good from Williams. Smitty, back in the 2001-2 season, you led the NBA in three-point shooting. Over 47% from deep. Did you play in the wrong era? <laughs> I don't think so, Kevin, but I do wish at times I could have played a few seasons in this era. That season, I only took about three trades per game. Now, I'd be taking like 15, Kevin. The Grizzlies trailed by eight. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. Kennard kicks to Bain. Here's Eldama. Hits the three-point bomb. Eldama. has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Williams passes to Hartenstein. Taken away. And it's Memphis on the break. And a wide-open look for Bain. Off target with his three. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. And this rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. There's Smart. The Thunder making the shot. And here's Kennard. Hasn't made one yet. Bain. Yep, that one goes in there. It's not easy to rattle Desmond Bain. Even with the contact, he's able to get the tough finish. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the OKC Thunder is still building, but is it fast enough for their all-star guard, Shea Gilgis-Alexander? SGA says, I think we're going to be a really good team a lot sooner than people think. So it's pretty easy for me to be patient. I see the growth every day, and I'm super excited about it. Kevin? And we see it, too. Hey, David, thank you. Free throw good, Wallace. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And it's smart with the ball for Memphis. Pass to Bain. Here's Eldama. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. The Thunder leading by seven. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. The Thunder with another miss. There's the steal. Here's Hartenstein. It's Williams high post. Shoots over Aldama. Shots good by Williams. Williams has got the lead up to nine now for Oklahoma City. Memphis has gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one for five attempts. Now a timeout called by Memphis. So it's Memphis with it. It's taken away by Wallace. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. The Thunder have gone a perfect seven of seven from the line tonight. And they shot 81% from the line last season as a team. So you, you really can't find fault with what they're able to do there. That one is off. Oh, 
good on the second free throw. The Grizzlies trail by 10. Smart kicks to Kanawha. Back to Smart. The pass to Bain. Dort with the ball. Here's Wallace. And he nails the jump. Wallace has got eight points. Nothing went right on that offensive possession except the result. Smart on the wing. Back to Kennard. Here's Eldama. The Grizzlies with another miss. Here's Oklahoma City. They're on a 16-5 run here. Shots good by Williams. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. And so here's Memphis. The Thunder making the shot. Wallace outside. It's rebounded by Memphis. Smart's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. He gets that one. Can't let Kennard get this close. Once you do, he's going up with it. Entering the league as a defensive stopper and a hustle guy, Greg, Marcus Smart has really rounded out his game. And Kevin, he's put in the work. Retool the shooting mechanics, playmaking style, but what's been most consistent, he still steps up in the biggest moment on both sides of the ball. Now, Smart, after Lou Dort's three-pointer that didn't go, feeds to Clark. Kennard on the wing. Memphis moving it around. Oh, and he pops it off the glass. Wow. Easy to appreciate the physicality that Clark plays with. This is what earns him those calls. The Grizzlies shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And they shot their free throws at a measly 73% clip over the course of last season. And that one falls for Clark. And so Clark nails both of them. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. Caruso against Kennard. Dort wide open. Off target from outside. The Grizzlies trail by 10. Kennard, the pass to Smart. To the inside. And the lead is down inside. Single digits. Smart's got his first points of the game. With a high basketball IQ and improving playmaking abilities, Luke's growing as a distributor. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Uh, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. And the Thunder with some changes. Holmgren comes in for Isaiah Hartenstein. And Gilgis Alexander is subbed in for Wallace. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got eight. And that's a foul Charging called foul on foul Shane foul. Gilgis Alexander. That's his first foul. And really just a great play to foul. sacrifice his body and take the charge. The Grizzlies trail by eight. Morant outside. Pass to Jackson. Aldama with the ball. Jackson up top. Here's LaRavia. Lock at six. Offline with his three. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Williams. 
Altama with the ball. He's against Williams, and there it is for him. This from Jackson. The Thunder leading by six. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Passes it to Holmgren. Now here's Williams to end the cold streak. It's blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Thunder will retain possession. Remains at Oklahoma City Ball. Two on the clock. And that's one way to end up in the highlights. You know what we call this play? A dumb play all the way around, especially at this particular time. Jackson finds Aldama. And it's off from three-point range. Oklahoma City's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Here's Williams. Hands the 12-footer. Williams has got 21. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Caruso against Morant. No good. Shot missing. Excellent D there from Williams. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Caruso. Back to Holmgren. And the shot goes in. And now it's a 10-point Thunder lead. Alex Caruso, he can make that pass in his sleep. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Morant with the bucket. I tell you, he has some impressive moves in his repertoire. That's as good as it gets, but just one of many. The shot's good from Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got 10 points in the game. So confident when finishing. Shea Gilgis Alexander just attacking them inside. Timeout called the Grizzlies. the Thunder, Kenrich Williams. He's checked in for Williams. And Wiggins is subbed in for Dorch. Morant looking around. Outside Jackson. Six to shoot. It's good from long Jaren range. Jackson Jr. 14 points for him. A huge scoring night for Jaron Jackson. You see the high ceiling for him. This is why he was selected fourth overall. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Ten points for him. Williams for three, and he's good on the three ball. Williams has got himself on the board with three there. Matching baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Now, here's Caruso, following the miss by John Morant. And that one's good, Caruso. Caruso's got four this quarter. Cutting his way through defenders, Caruso somehow gets it done inside. Morant against Caruso. Little turnaround, and he gets it back. Tries again, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And the work ethic of Moran. Fantastic at keeping his focus on the task at hand. Memphis shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Joe's checked in. That's good from Morant. The Thunder leading by nine. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And there's the pass to Joe. Out to the wing. Five to shoot. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And Gilgis Alexander throws it down. What can't this kid do? Gilgis Alexander with a big time play at the end of the clock. Here's Morant. 
made that one. It's his seventh of the contest. Seven for 15 from the floor. Showing the quickness right there. Just tough to keep up with. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Williams. Holmgren in the post. Pass to Joe. From deep. The Thunder get it back in a new 14. Here's LaRavia. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Three points. 17 seconds left here in the second. Gilgis Alexander against Morant. Now here's Holmgren from the arc. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. And what a shot. Holmgren displaying some confidence from deep. And so that brings the first half to a close. Oklahoma City out in front. Up by nine. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Taylor Jenkins is here with us in the second quarter. Coach, tough sledding at both ends of the floor. How do you fix it? You know, it hurts our offense. We're not able to get stops and get out and run in, so not a good quarter for us. Now we just got to keep being aggressive defensively and be a little bit more disciplined. And we'll see if that can pick up as the game continues. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. A competitive matchup for Oklahoma City in the first quarter. Their biggest lead in the first, five points. They ended the second with a solid nine-point lead. A nice show of force by them. Shaq, your thoughts on the Thunder? They made every possession count by limiting the mistakes. Very disciplined about protecting the ball and making the right play. They keep this up. We should be safe. Don't get cocky and lose just because you're ahead. How about you, Kenny? What do you think about Memphis? Right now, they're shooting in the low 30s from the outside. In today's style of perimeter offense, that's not enough to force the defense to expect. They have to work on getting better quality shots. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. The Grizzlies trail by nine. Dort and Williams up in the forward positions. Gilgis Alexander up there with Alex Caruso. And it's Holmgren in at the center position. And that's who Mark Dagnold starts the second half. And some of what Smart gives this team doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, but, but he makes plays that help you win. For Memphis, they have gone five of seven from the free throw line in the game. Marcus Smart. down the first one. And so Smart nails both of them. And it's Williams with the ball for the Thunder led by as many as 14 points. Passes to Holmgren. Williams up on top. Defended by Eldama. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Personal foul. First team foul. The Thunder have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. And I'd say those numbers read pretty well. Two shots.
And the first one at the line is good. He hits both from the strike. And here are the Grizzlies now. Nine point game. Morant against Caruso. Morant outside. Six on the shot clock. Caruso grabs the miss. Caruso's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Basket counts. 25 points for Williams. Love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they executed. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. The Thunder leading by 11. Now, Gilgis Alexander. 12 points for him. Pass to Holmgren. Fires for three. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. And love Holmgren's rise and fire approach. This speaks to his level of confidence. Greg, we were just talking about Chet Holmgren, and he's a lot tougher, I think, than his frame might indicate. Physically and mentally, he does not back down. In fact, he's often the one who initiates contact. You think you're going to bully him? He's going to try to bully you. Here's Holmgren. Marcus Smart picking up that last basket. For three, Williams. And Desmond Bain pulls it down. The Grizzlies trail by 12. the feed to Morant. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. Williams shot is off. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Now here's Morant. He's got 16. One thing that makes Jaren such a great alley-oop target is his hands measured at enormous 10 inches long. Gilgis Alexander against Smart. Bounce pass from Gilgis Alexander. And the rejection by Jackson. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. The Grizzlies trail by 10. The pass to Aldama. Back to Jackson. Here's Morant. Shoots the three. Here's Aldama. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Aldama's got seven points in the game. Time call here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. And Coach can't like what he's seen. Trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. They've led by as many as 14 points. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 12, and he makes that one. This is one of Gilgis Alexander's specialties. Good score off the dribble. Morant against Caruso. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And the officials call it for a three-second violation. The Grizzlies trail by eight. 
Morant outside. In the corner, Smart with it. Good, and a nice Smart. assist from Morant. Assisted. He's got eight. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. And it has them at a great spot to take the lead. They love to get a few stops now at the other end. Now here's Williams. 25 points in the game. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. Well, Jaron Jackson Jr. is a prolific shot blocker, but blocks aren't his goal. He said, I'm playing the game to not foul, but make it as hard as I can. Block it and foul. Avoiding those whistles is key. John Morant says of Jackson, his defensive presence is big time for us. We're a totally different team with him out there on the floor. Kevin? They are indeed. Hey, DA, thank you. That one falls for Jackson. You really get excited about Jackson's potential. The size, the agility, and the skill level to make an impact at both ends. Good on both. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. That's good from Williams. The assist from Gilgis Alexander. 27 points for Williams. And that shot was huge as they try to stem the tide here and hang on to the lead. Bounce pass from Aldama. It's stolen by Dort. And he drops in the way up off the glass. And now an eight-point Oklahoma City lead. And look at how the hustle game has been going for Oklahoma City. Their defense, it's their defense. It has been downright incredible so far. Being disruptive and coming up with steals left and right. And not just that. They're also forcing turnovers at a high rate and taking advantage in transition. The Thunder leading by six. To the paint, there's Williams. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Aldama, and so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And luckily, they've got terrific depth at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. The first one falls. And Williams drops them both. And his work at the free throw line has been terrific tonight, making the most of his chances. It's Bain atop the key. Outside for Jackson. No good on the triple. Oklahoma City leading by eight. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Well, this is where measurements don't tell the whole story. Clark is a tremendous shot blocker despite okay, having an average foul. wingspan. Clearly a foul. Foul. Third foul. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And 79% from the Jackson line Jr. a season ago. Pretty Two consistent shots. there as a free throw shooter. falls for Jackson.
and so he makes both from the line. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Gilgis Alexander against Morant. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Gilgis Alexander's got six assists now in the game. Now here's Morant. 20 points for him. Jackson kicks to Clark. Pulls up on the wing. The Grizzlies with another miss. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for the Thunder. They've led by as many as 14 points. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Here's Jackson. Somehow Jackson. ignores the tight D and gets the way up. Jackson's got five points so far. And how's that for a move? The killer crossover. It's a thing of beauty. Here's Williams. And Desmond Bain pulls it down. Bain's got four rebounds now tonight. He kicks to Jackson. Now here's Morant for three. Buries it from three-point range. For three. Now, just a four-point Thunder lead. When John Moran is hitting those, you're in for a long night because we know what he can do off the bounce. Time call here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. Yeah, he, he's shaking up a bit. No choice but to take a timeout and let him get some medical attention. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 14. He dishes it to Williams. Over Jackson. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. And that's 31 points for Williams. How about the floor awareness by Gilgis Alexander? Solid at just spotting his open teammate. It's Morant with the drop. Yep, it counts. The Thunder leading by four. Pass to Holmgren. Here's Joe. A three-pointer, no good. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Outside, Bain. Gilgis Alexander against Morant. One of those guys that can take over a game. John Morant proven to be the difference. Oklahoma City's gone a less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Lays it up off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got 16 points. <laughs> Whoa, he really got his defender on his heels on that one. What a fantastic play, guy. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Yeah, Kevin, they've been committing a lot of turnovers here. Taking care of the basketball is the number one priority right now in that huddle. They've got to tighten it up. Hartenstein's checked in for the Thunder. Kenrich Williams comes in for Williams. Then for the Grizzlies. Laravia's checked in, and it's Kennard in for Bain. Now here's Jackson. Five points in the game. Six to shoot. Bobbed up there for Clark. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's Hartenstein. It's Clark with the rebound. The Grizzlies trail by four. The dish to Moran. Kennard for three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Here's Hartenstein. Gilgis Alexander passes to Hartenstein. Let's it go from 11. And it's Morant with the rebound. Memphis has gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Pass to LaRavia. Kennard for three. Cans it from downtown. Kennard's got his second basket. Always working to find open territory. Kennard's lethal in catch and shoot. Gilgis Alexander passes to Joe. 
And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got his eighth assist in the game. Now here's Morant. 27 points for him. The 11-footer. Here's Clark. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. In all of his athleticism on display there. Clark's work ethic makes him lethal on that offensive backboard. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 16. Pass to Williams. The tray. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Clark dishes to Jackson. Morant outside. Into the lane. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. They've led by as many as 14 points. Williams passes to Gilgis Alexander. Here's Morant. And finished off by Morant. That's why coaches tell you to keep those hands up. You never know when you're going to poke one away like Kennard did. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. Thunder lead by three. And for 2K Sports, we'll be back here at Paycom Center right after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. On the court for Memphis to start the fourth. Marcus Smart is out there with Luke Kanon. And there's Jackson. And it's LaRavia in at the fourth. And good that time. And the D not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. Kennard against Caruso. Kennard kicks to Jackson. For three, it's good, and the Thunder lead is cut down to just two points with the bucket from Kennard. We've seen Kadar steadily increase his three-point shots. Terrific accuracy here. Caruso finds William. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answer each other from range. Now, here's Kennard. There's the three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Williams has got his fourth rebound in this one. Gilgis Alexander against Jackson. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And again, it's Oklahoma City. This is the challenge. Shea can be an all-star if he can consistently hit jump shots. Smart passes to LaRavia. Smart. Jackson from long range. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Three points. Smart's got his fourth assist in this one. There's the pass to Gilgis Alexander. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. Jaron Jackson's checked in for the Grizzlies. Bain comes in for Luke Kennard. Jasmine Bain. Williams against Jackson. Outside Williams. Clock at four. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. Clever play there from Holmberg. Gets the defense up with the pump fake and forces the foul. Chet Holmgren. Two shots. First one falls for. 
and Holmgren is such a talented player, a lengthy, wily big man who's still growing into his frame. Holmgren hits a ball. The Grizzlies trail by six. Outside, smart. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. And Jackson, Jackson gets it to go. The D has to be more assertive with Jaron Jackson inside. Even with some contact, he's still able to score. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. And it's off the back rim, no good. Gilgis Alexander against Smart. Pass to Bain. Pocket six. There's Jackson with the three. They grab their own miss. Great use of the plump fake. The best move in basketball. So much untapped potential with Jaron Jackson. At the line for the Grizzlies. Jaron Jackson Jr. Taking two shots. First free throw is good for the Thunder. Hartenstein comes in for Chet Holmgren. And Wallace subbed in for Gilgis Alexander. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so Caruso will bring up the ball for the Thunder. Led by as many as 14 points. Williams with three. Rebounded by Smart. Smart's got six rebounds in the game. Outside, Bain. Outside, Smart. Passes it to Jackson. Just five on the clock to take the lead. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got five rebounds tonight. Over in the corner, Dort. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Grizzlies have gone three of six from the field so far in the fourth quarter. Here's Payne. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. There's an aggression and a confidence to Desmond Bain's game. It helps him get to the line. At the line for the Grizzlies. Desmond Bain. Two shots. Free throw, no good. The shooting of Desmond Bain, it's special. Knocking down threes as good as anyone in the game. And he can't hit the second. Very surprised he couldn't capitalize on those shots. You don't see that often. Wallace kicks to Caruso. Pass to Hartenstein. Stolen by Smart. Here's Jackson. Good, and Jackson Smart gets Jackson the assist. Jr. 26 assist. points for Jaron Jackson. Smart. For a big man to be that fluid and that coordinated as a runner, it's a huge advantage. Jaron Jackson getting it done in transition. Now here's Williams. And so Oklahoma City again turning it over. Cut it look for Oklahoma City. Holmgren is checked in for Hartenstein. And Shay Gilgis Alexander subbed in for Wallace. And so it's Memphis with it. Outside, smart. 
The pass to Jackson. Shoots over Holmgren. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Williams kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Holmgren. Here's Caruso. Sinks the triple. And the Thunder lead by three. Alice Caruso's off-the-ball action is excellent. Smart against Gilgis Alexander. Smart misses. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Gilgis Alexander finds Williams. It's deflected. He's guarded by Williams. And the shot goes in. Thunder have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth. One of nine. Here's Gilgis Alexander. This team leans on Shea to help shoulder the offense. And he takes this responsibility seriously. Gilgis Alexander against Smart. This is it to Jackson. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Four on the shot clock. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Jackson's got three assists in the game. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Dort. Well, good on the three. Memphis has gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Count the basket. Mm -hmm. We've seen some great competition in this one. Yeah, seven already in the game, and I think it shows you how well these two teams match up with one another. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Stolen by Jackson. Payne for three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Williams has got seven rebounds in the game. And the rejection by Jackson. Outside, smart. And that's a foul oh, called on foul. Shea Gilgis Alexander. <laughs> That'll be his second foul second of the game. Personal foul. The Grizzlies making a change here. Morant's checked in. Grizzlies substitution. John Morant. Down low. Bain kicks to Morant. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. Here's Caruso. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Caruso's got five points in the quarter. Outside, smart. Pass to Bain. Shoots over Dort. Bain, no good. And it's Williams with the ball for Oklahoma City. They've led by as many as 14 points. And looking at Shea's game, there is a shiftiness to it. Keeps defenders off balance. At the line for your thunder, Shea Kilchis Alexander. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. The Grizzlies trail by three. Here's Morant. Caruso grabs the miss. Thunder have gone 6 of 13. So just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the quarter. Comes up empty down low. The Grizzlies have gone 7 of 15 from the floor here in the fourth. Right around 46-47%. The three from Morant. And Holmgren pulls it down. Holmgren's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Now 
the best to Dort. Bain with it. Dort covering. Looking to get it going. Thunder with the rebound. Dort got his sixth rebound on the night. Over Bain. And they cash in right away with a quick shot. What a shot by Dort. Keeping his cool and finding his team a bucket. And here's Morant. Nice defense from Dort. Holmgren at the elbow. Kicks it to Williams. Back to Holmgren. And it's good assisting on the play was Williams. And now a seven-point Thunder lead. Yeah, some contact in there, but Holmgren maintains his balance and able to complete the play. Inside, Williams with the steal. Over in the corner, Dort. Back to Williams. Two minutes remaining in the game. Shot Two clock minutes. at six. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Unable to get that one. The Grizzlies trail by seven. Going inside. And it goes down. Two points. Oh, he had him spinning. He looks like he's dizzy after that crossover. One thirty-seven left to play here in the fourth. Holmgren against Jackson. Holmgren the pass to Caruso. Now Gilgis Alexander. And no good. Some solid defense there from Jackson. To the middle. Here's Bain. Lee pass was put in just the right spot. Now it's just a three-point Thunder lead. Desmond Bain is a good option in these situations. Way to come through. Jackson against Holmgren. Again with the block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Over in the corner, Caruso. There's another block. You've got to have a better effort against him. Sending back everything. Now, here's Morant for three. Here's Jackson. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Shot and game clock separated by five. Williams passes to Gilgis Alexander. left to the wing shoots from the elbow rebounded by Jackson now a timeout called by Memphis they trailed by three six seconds left to the game and now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game Hey guys, no doubt who our pick is going to be. And he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. Looking to tie it up with a big triple. This is where you want to run a play. Don't just walk it up and heave it. Desmond Bain showing no nerves. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. They lead by one. Just four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now. Again and again, they're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. Jackson. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Marcus Smart. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your thunder. Shane Gilgis Alexander. Good on the first, and that will put them up by two. And 
and so he drops them both. It's a three-point game. Huge shots. Tremendous job stepping up in a big way for them at the strike. And so the timeout by Taylor Jenkins here. What's your take, guys? And, and they need a miracle, guys. They don't have enough time for the catch-and-shoot three, so the only hope is for an alley-oop and an and one to finish out. So a close game sees Oklahoma City taking this one. What a show they put on here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win, and, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you you got to love being on edge of your seat.